In this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade the image to transparent, like in this example. Before we get started, I'll show you what settings I'm on, so you'll have the exact same to follow along. I'm on the Essential Classic Workspace. Resetting the workspace will make your screen look like this. The other setting we're going to apply is the transparency grid. The grid is not necessary, but it does help with visualizing the transparency of the image. Go to View and select Transparency Grid. This will give us the same grid which is default in Photoshop. Okay, now let's place or drag in the image we want to fade to transparent. This is the image I'm going to use and I'm going to align it to the artboard. And then click on Embed. Now with the image in place, we're going to open up the windows needed to fade the image to transparent. Click on Window and open up Transparency. To create a fade in the transparency effect, we will need the gradient window, which is right next to transparency. And if not, you can open it at Window Gradient. Okay, so let's pull out the submenu and place it underneath transparency. So now we both have transparency open and we have the gradient window open. So with the image selected, we're going to click on Make Mask, which will apply the transparency effect to the image. Now you'll see that the square next to the image, which is the mask, is completely black. So select the mask to make changes to the mask. The way a mask works is that black will conceal everything and white will reveal everything. So when we draw in uh, a few lines with white, you'll see that the image will be revealed. So black conceals and white reveals. With this knowledge in mind, we're going to create a gradient which will go from black to white. So it will go from conceal to reveal. Select the Rectangle tool and place a rectangle over the artboard to apply the gradient effect to. With the rectangle selected, click on the gradient in the gradient window to apply the effect. Now this gradient correlates to the transparency mask. So with the gradient slider, we can now make changes to the transparency effect. Make sure that the gradient effect fades from 100% white to 100% black. If you want to make changes, to make a shorter fade for example, you can drag in more color dots underneath the gradient bar. And you can also drag the location of the fade on top of the gradient bar. If you want to invert the transparency, you can do so quickly by selecting Invert Mask in the Transparency window. So, in short, adding more white to the gradient bar will reveal more of the image. Adding more black to the gradient will conceal more of the image. So if you're fully satisfied with the transparency effect, you can go back to view and deselect the transparency grid. So this is the result of the transparency effect on a white background. To go back to editing your artboard instead of the selected mask, you can go back to the transparency panel and select the square of the image. You can add in a different colored background by creating a new layer over here in the layers panel. Now place this layer underneath the transparency layer. Get in a new rectangle and fill the rectangle with the eyedropper tool to match with the colors of the image. So that was it for today. I hope you learned something about creating a transparency mask in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel if it helped you.